So we're here in the kitchen at the guest house now, and I'm finally going to get to try some venison. This here is um, it's the meat of a doe that was killed a couple of days ago. Uh, since then, the meat has been marinating in a sauce called pots, made of onions and garlic. There's obviously some oil in there, and then just salt, pepper, and some herbs like mustard. And it's been marinating for two days now, so the meat should be very tender. So we start off by putting the meat yeah. into the pan yeah. and frying it off. Oh, and straight away it's smelling really good because of the marinade on there. We've got a really good smell of onions coming off. You can see it's very hot, it's just to seal in all the flavour. Okay, so now that we've cooked off the meat, we're going to start preparing the sauce with the mushrooms. Start by melting some butter in the pan. Then we add the onions, I guess. That's your. Right, so now the onions have been on for maybe two, three minutes and they're nicely glazed. We can add all of the mushroom. And to this, we will add a little bit of salt, some finely ground black pepper. A lot. And then we add just a little bit of vegetable stock powder. And so just to keep it moist while it's cooking, we just need to add a little bit of water. So now we're just going to add just a tiny little bit of very finely chopped garlic there. And then we put in just a tiny bit of hot paprika just to give it a bit of a kick. And now to give it the strong kind of taste that you really need to go with game, we're just going to put in some red wine. Not too much, just enough to really bring out the flavour of the mushrooms. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Might have just put way too much in there. <laughs> like I'm technically <sexy> bored. <laughs> oh, oh we've decided to get the plate ready for serving here. Right, and here we've just got some boiled rice, which is the perfect garnish for this. Yes. Very good. <laughs> Probably best that she did that, to be honest. I don't think I'd have managed. And then we just serve up the meat with some of the mushrooms on the top. So now we're just going to serve it up with some of the goose liver. The goose liver has been cooked before in some spicy garlic seasoning and then it's actually it's deep fried. So it's cooked completely in oil. That should be very tasty. Mm -hmm.